YouTube and welcome back to my channel this afternoon. I know it's been quite a long time since you've seen me, but I believe I mentioned in my latest video that I was going away for a couple weeks for the army. I got back from Jericho, Vermont after doing 15 days of annual training last weekend and then I was straight into a four day work week and then this past weekend I was at the Boston Esplanade fireworks a celebration working the 3rd, the 4th and the 5th of July. So I didn't get out until the afternoon of the 5th which was yesterday and then I actually managed to go to a family cookout for a couple hours before I came home and fell asleep because last night was the first time in I'd have to say four or five weeks that I actually got a pretty decent night's sleep and I just, when I woke up this morning to go to work, part of me was like, oh. but I did it because I have a full-time job at a law firm as well. So I like to try to balance out army, civilian life, and then YouTube life as well. But unfortunately, if something has to take the hit, it is usually you guys and it's nothing against you guys. I love filming and I love YouTube and I love your comments and all your suggestions and feedback. But at the same time, sometimes it just gets too overwhelming and I have to cut out the one that doesn't necessarily pay the bills. So with that being said, I decided I would sit down and film an empties videos for you guys because these are one of my favorite videos to film and I know for a fact you guys like them as well because I always get a ton of thumbs ups and comments and little responses on these videos. So I have a ton of empties to sit down and share with you guys. So let's go. So the first one is this Vidal Sassoon hair dye. This is on the shade 6RR Runway Red and it looks like this. As you can tell, I am no longer red, which will lead into my next empty, but for now, I am not gonna go ahead and repurchase this because I am no longer dyeing my hair red, but I love this stuff while I was red. This is the most vibrant red that I've used at, in a um, at-home color care box besides going to my hairdresser, but this stuff was fantastic. I must warn you guys though, if you do use this, make sure that when you're doing your little baby hairs that you're very careful because this will stain your skin and it will last for at least four to five days. So during the first week of dyeing my hair, I would have to wear my hair down pretty much every single day because my little baby hairs and around my scalp would turn red and no matter how much I scrubbed it or put conditioner while I was dyeing my hair, it would always um, tend to stain my skin and it just didn't look very cute. So now moving on to my next product. This is another Vidal Sassoon Pro Series and this is in the shade of 5 VR London Lilac and it looks like this. Now, as you can tell, it's pretty darn close to the box. I decided to dye my hair last weekend while I was home and I absolutely love this color. It looks like this and it is the perfect mixture of black, dark, like a warm shade of burgundy with a hint of dark violet. And I think it is absolutely like such an beautiful, amazing, fantastic shade. And I really, really enjoy this. So I have gone ahead and repurchased this already through drugstore.com. I placed an order last week to get dishwashing tablets and I needed something to put me over the $35 limit so that way I could get free shipping. So I picked up another box of this and I love this hair color. If you guys have a, um, like if you guys like it or if you guys like the red, leave a comment down below. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go back to red for quite some time because I really have been enjoying this. But um, if you guys do like the hair, then thumbs up this video. Okay, that was a little bit cheesy, but I'm just saying I really like my hair color. All right, moving along, this is the Jason Restorative Biotin Shampoo, and it says that it strengthens and repairs damaged hair. So it looks like this, and this company is fantastic. It's free of parabens, sulfates, petroleum, artificial colors, and phthalates, and I absolutely love that about this hair care line. I have tried a different shampoo in the past that I really enjoyed, but this one smelled like baby powder, and you guys know my thoughts and theories um, about baby powder. It's just too overpowering and it's too powdery of a scent for me. So I'm not gonna go ahead and repurchase this, but I did think it did a fantastic job on cleansing my hair without stripping it. The one thing um, 
it is enriched with biotin, vitamin B5, and ginseng. And I, I did notice a slight difference in the texture of my hair. So I would definitely recommend this, but I'm not going to repurchase this particular um, variety. Now I have gone ahead and repurchased the like seaweed kelp one and I purchased it on vitacost.com. It was on sale for like such a terrific price. I believe it was like somewhere between eight to ten dollars and it was the jumbo size with the pump. I want to say it was the liter size and I think that's such a fantastic deal. So I love this brand but I'm not going to repurchase the biotin one just because it's just it's too baby powdery for me. And moving on, this is the Suave Professionals um, Infusion line, and this is the Moroccan Argan Oil Shine Conditioner. It looks like this, and you guys know I love this conditioner. It is a fantastic. It makes my hair super soft, and it's so inexpensive. These are usually on sale at CVS, two for six, two for eight dollars. So you definitely can't beat the price. I sometimes pick this up at Target as well. It's so affordable and it just makes your hair very silky without weighing it down. And I have just, this is one of the best drugstore conditioners or conditioners of all time that I've ever used. I'd have to, right now I'm using a new conditioner and I will let you guys know um, my thoughts on it. But in a future video, just because I haven't tried it out long enough to tell you guys whether or not I really like it. But this stuff is fantastic and I would go ahead and repurchase this. But right now I am trying out a couple other conditioners. So I am not in the market for needing a new conditioner at the moment. And moving along, this is the EOS Shave Cream in the Scent Lavender Jasmine. It looks like this. And you guys know if you've watched me for at least one other empties video that this always makes an appearance in my empties videos. It is my favorite shave cream. It is my holy grail. It smells like a day at the spa and I don't ever nick myself. And I just wanna let you guys know that when I was gone for annual training, I used a travel size shaving cream of something else. You'll be seeing it in a future empties video because there were just too many products to include in this one. And I nicked myself about 10 times. It was horrible. So I swear by this stuff, it is like absolutely the best hands down shave cream that I've ever used. And I've already gone ahead and repurchased this and it's sitting in my shower. I also used up a Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel, and it looks like this. This is the special size limited edition, and it is 17 fluid ounces. So I love this stuff. It is my holy grail, like a luxury shower gel, in my opinion. It is pricey. That is the one thing I have to mention. I think it's somewhere around $30 to $40 for 17 fluid ounces, which usually lasts me somewhere in the vicinity of a month, maybe a little less than that. So it is expensive. I want to say that um, I thought the pump was going to be a lot more convenient so that way I could just dispense the same amount every single time. But it just seemed like the pump wasn't, the distance to the bottle wasn't far enough. So it was like traveling down the bottle and not on my loofah. So it just ended up kind, like, kind of being a pain in my opinion. So, um, I, I love this stuff. I'm not going to purchase it right now because I have a couple other Ahava shower gels that I'm um, using in my bathroom right now. And I am trying my hardest to limit my spending a little bit so that way I can use the stuff that I already own before I go out and like stockpile stuff. Uh, we, we shall see how that works. And I also used up a Juice Organics a Brightening Cleanser and it looks like this. You guys know that this is one of my all-time favorite facial cleansers. This brand is free of parabens, gluten, phthalates, sulfates, um, artificial colors, synthetic fragrances, and a bunch of other things that you don't necessarily want to be putting on your skin. So I love this stuff. It smells like oranges. It, like, I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but it works amazing. It cleanses my skin without leaving it that super tight, um, like squeaky clean so I am going to go ahead and repurchase this it's just that right now I have another one in my shower already so I don't necessarily need one right at the current moment and then 
his uh, best friend is coming right along and this is the Juice Organics Palm Wash Facial Cleanser. And this is the Pomegranate Foam one, which is my holy grail facial cleanser. It smells like a freshly squeezed pomegranate and it just smells so good. It cleanses your skin and I like using this one in the morning when I'm in the shower and I have no makeup on because I do shower in the morning. And this one just gently cleanses my skin and I like using the orange one at night when I'm taking after I've removed all my makeup and when I'm using my Clarisonic. So I think these both work fantastic and I am not going to go ahead and repurchase this one right now because I also have one of these in my shower as well. But I will definitely repurchase both of these in the future because they are my holy grail facial cleansers. And then I have a healthy sexy hair soy renewal with argan oil and this is the nourishing styling treatment. It looks like this. And I picked this up a while ago. It's just that I just finished up using the Bio Silk one, I believe, last month. And I moved on to this now. I have used this off and on for months. So no, I did not go th through 4.2 fluid ounces in a month. But I love this stuff. I think it works amazing. It smells amazing. It doesn't weigh down my hair. It doesn't make it greasy. And I tend to put this more from like right after my roots um all the way down to my um my ends whereas a lot of people just kind of put a little bit and then just do it on their ends but since my hair is so dry from always constantly dyeing it i can put oil in my hair um from like hair down and it doesn't get greasy only my roots really get greasy so i try to avoid that but I am going to go ahead and repurchase this. It's just that right now I am working on the Macadamia Natural Oil um, hair oil, which I love as well. So once I'm done with that puddle, I will let you guys know which one I prefer more. But I think right now I'd have to say the Macadamia Oil one, it, it smells a little bit better. And I think it works just a slight tad bit better for my hair. So we shall see. And then I finished this Salon Selectives um, Volumizing All Day Extra Hold Hairspray, and it looks like this. Now, I picked this up at the dollar store a while ago, but I just stick this in my travel bag when I go away for the army because if you... I can't even tell you how much hairspray I've used in the army because we put our hair up in buns. Um, I like my bun kind of messy and when when you guys see the sock buns we've been doing sock buns since the dawn of like um like hair bun time it was just the way that i was taught when i joined the military i joined in 2005 november 16th 2005 and i have been doing sock buns ever since so. but now i kind of like the a little bit messy bun look so i wet my hair and then I kind of scrunch it and then I spray it and then I do a bun. So if that makes any sense, I use a ton of hairspray. I should probably just buy some stock and hairspray, but I really did like this. It's super affordable. It was literally a dollar at the dollar store. So you can't beat the price. And I don't care about using name brand hairspray because at the end of the day, when it comes to the military, all I'm doing is making sure that my hair is like neat and orderly and that I don't have baby hairs coming all over the place. So. I would possibly repurchase this again. It's just that I'm not going to go to the dollar store just to buy hairspray when I can just buy it at CVS at a little bit more expensive price. But I think with the distance and the driving, it will even itself out. And then I have one of these Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes Refill Pack. There are 25 towelettes in here. And you guys know this is my holy grail makeup removing cleansing towelette. I love these things. I am definitely going to go ahead and repurchase these because they are one of my favorites. No, they are my favorite. Um, but the elf ones are pretty fantastic as well. So I am going to go ahead and repurchase them. And then I have two of these Sephora cotton soft touch cotton pads and there are 35 cotton rounds in each of these. So I used up 70 and I really like those cotton rounds as well. They're sturdy, but they're soft and they don't disintegrate. At the same time, they are fluffy enough where like when you put the eye makeup remover, they, they don't like smush down and become like 
paper tissue thin so I would consider going ahead and repurchasing them I have purchased them in the past before so um, but right now I have some other cotton rounds and I still I believe have a pack of the Muji Cut cotton that I've been saving for some reason so I don't need cotton rounds right now but when I do I would definitely go ahead and purchase those from Sephora because they are pretty inexpensive I believe they're I want to say like three or four dollars for um a, maybe a bigger pack than that I can't necessarily remember I do purchase them online and sometimes periodically they go on sale for I believe like a dollar or two dollars for a pack and then I have these q-tip cotton swabs they're 170 and they look like this now you guys know that I bought like generic cotton swabs at the dollar store a very long time ago and they just they just stunk like I couldn't eat, I can't I didn't even realize cotton swabs could be bad but these were just horrible like quality wise they were terrible so I went ahead and repurchased the actual q-tip brand and I like them they're q-tips they work I clean my ears and then I have oh I have, I have a pretty decent amount of makeup in here but before we get to the makeup I have two more things this is the well I can start with this one first this is the crest complete um multi-benefit toothpaste with whitening scope and this is the minty fresh striped one it looks like this that's such long titling for such a small travel size toothpaste but I like this stuff I keep a small one in my military um hygiene bag because there's no need to take a large one usually I'm only gone for a Friday Saturday Sunday deal and these work perfectly um I would go ahead and repurchase this I I don't really care about the traveling ones um, because I'm only using them every like three days a month, but I would repurchase this. I'd repurchase a different brand. It's just a toothpaste in my opinion. And then this is the Colgate fluoride toothpaste with whitening Max Clean smartphone in the flavor effervescent mint. And it looks like this. And I really like this toothpaste. The I don't necessarily care about my travel toothpaste because I only use it once a month for a couple days but my regular toothpaste I am very picky about and the Colgate line is the one that I always tend to reach for. I really like this Max Clean one and I my favorite is the Max Fresh one and it's like a bluish um, gel with little tiny it almost looks like glitter like what's on my nails little tiny glitter flecks that are like minty things that burst in your mouth so I already have gone ahead and repurchased this one only because I thought it was the max fresh one I think the max fresh one was in the same location and I just reached in and grabbed this one but it doesn't bother me because I really enjoyed this toothpaste as well so I just I do not like the Colgate one the Colgate optic white that one is terrible and I know Meg, I know you're watching this and I know that you really like that toothpaste, but for some reason it just I do not like the flavor of that toothpaste. And then lastly, I have a decent amount of makeup products. Now, let me start with well, let me start with these mascaras. So the first one is the MAC False Lashes, and this is just a sample that I received as a um, free sample with Nordstrom purchase. Whoa. See, and I was going to drop something and I did. There we go. This is what the wand and the brush head look like. I took this away when I went away for the army to Vermont, to Jericho, Vermont. This was decent. I'm not going to go ahead and purchase the full size because I just prefer other high-end mascaras over MAC. I used to be obsessed with MAC mascara, but then I just realized that there were other ones like Lancome and Estee Lauder that do wonders for my lashes and this one not so much. So um, I do have a couple more samples of different MAC um, mascaras but I'm not going to go ahead and purchase the full size now this one is the Jordana best length extreme lengthening mascara and it looks like this and this is what the wand and the brush head look like this is a plastic bristle brush and I have to say I really enjoy plastic bristle brushes but this one was so harsh and the spikes were so rough that if you accidentally hit your like your waterline when you were using this mascara 
it literally felt like you took needles and shoved them into your eyeball. It was terrible. So I'm not going to go ahead and repurchase this one just because it was lengthening, but I think this smudged um, occasionally on me and I don't know. I thought it was okay, but I didn't think it was amazing, like the best lash extreme by Jordana. So, um, luckily, my good friend Liz here on YouTube got me one of the other Jordana ones in our um, makeup swap that we did. So, I am excited to open that one up now that this one is gone. And then the last one, this was a very sad day for me. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. And this. This is what the packaging looks like. This is what the wand and the brush head look like. And as you can tell, the wand is microscopic with the bristles, but this mascara is amazing. I almost want to say this is my holy grail drugstore mascara. And I know, I know. That's pretty, uh, pretty crazy because I never thought that I would actually commit to a drugstore mascara and say this one is the best. But yeah, I have to say, if you're gonna try a drugstore mascara, at least check this one out. Now I know the bristles on the brush don't look very fantastic by any means, but it works wonders. This lengthens my lashes to get them longer than when I'm wearing false lashes. I just, I cannot even describe how wonderful this mascara is. It does not smudge, it doesn't clump. It just makes your lashes look very full. It makes them look extremely long. And I just, I love the fact that it doesn't smudge and it doesn't clump and it just, it literally looks like you're wearing false lashes but not the ones that are like super bushy, just the natural looking ones that like flutter out on the side so definitely going to go ahead and repurchase this once I use up a couple more mascaras this is like my favorite now and um I definitely will be comparing other mascaras that, I'm, that I'll be trying out in the future to how well they perform against this one and then I have one eyeliner this is the Jordana Fabuliner liquid eyeliner in the shade number 01 black and this is what it looks like and this is what the point looks like. It is a um, felt tip marker and I will do a swatch for you guys. As you can tell, it's dried out because it's pretty gray at this point. But um, I like this, it was okay. I wouldn't go out and ever purchase this again because it didn't wow me by any means. And as you guys know, I like a brush tip eyeliners. I think um, they're easier to flick out your wing and I just think they're easier to use like so that way you're not dragging the um the felt tip on your eye am i saying this right i feel like with the brush tips they're easier it doesn't pull on your skin on your like sensitive skin on your eyes on your eyelids there we go Whew, as you guys can tell i haven't filmed for a couple weeks so my words are getting all jumbled up but um i'm not gonna go ahead and repurchase this i thought it was a decent eyeliner but um it wasn't as black as I wanted it to be and it just it didn't really impress me and then I have one more mascara this is the it cosmetics um which one is this one called this is the hello lashes and it looks like this this is just a small deluxe size sample and this is what the brush and the um the wand and the brush head look like this mascara was fantastic as well. This is definitely a, a, a high-end mascara that I would look into purchasing. So um, I love the fact that this separated, it lengthened, and I really enjoyed using this on my bottom lashes as well. It didn't transfer by any means. Um, I don't think I own a single product by It Cosmetics, but this, this mascara was pretty fantastic, so I would highly recommend this. And I think I am going to go ahead and pick this up. Um, I know that you can buy a cosmetics at Ulta. I'm not positive if you can buy them through Sephora, but I'll have to check online tomorrow. And then uh, I finished the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter pen in the shade Light Boost. It looks like this. And 
You guys know that this is my favorite um, highlighting pen for underneath my eyes. I think it works amazing. It's very yellow undertoned, which is great for my Asian skin. They're getting out of control out there. And um, I love this stuff. I have already gone ahead and repurchased this. I have a small Mac haul coming up probably next week or so. And then I have some high-end products as well. So I love this stuff. I sometimes go back and forth as to whether or not it's worth it's either $26 or $28, but then I go ahead and try out something else, and I just, I have never liked anything as much as I like this highlighting pen. And then I have a foundation. I feel like I haven't used up a full bottle of foundation in quite some time, so this is a bit exciting. This is the CoverGirl True Blend foundation in the shade M4, and it looks like this. And it is completely gone, and I have to say, I hate this foundation, but the reason why I use this because this was a decent foundation to mix with. It is a very, very yellow undertoned. It is probably the most yellow undertoned foundation I've ever found at the drugstore. So I really like that about this product, but this stuff did not work very well with my skin alone. It was very patchy. It was very streaky. It, dis it was like a Houdini foundation by the like middle of the work day it was just gone off my face and tons of spots not just like around my nose and on my like forehead and on my chin I mean on my cheeks where my contour was up by my temples pretty much it would just I looked like a foundation dalmatian I just had spots of foundation all over my face it was terrible so I'm not gonna go ahead and repurchase this one but I have to say that the covergirl three-in-one foundation the out like outlast fabulous foundation that's fantastic i just wish that those shades were the exact same shades as this line but it's not because this line is geared more towards women of color anyway and the other shades are very pink toned so i am sad about that but um i did use this up and no i'm not ever ever going to repurchase this foundation again and then i have this a lip pencil and this is a bite beauty lip pencil this is one of the mini ones that they sell online i believe they're 12 dollars and this is in the shade glacé it looks like this and it's i don't think i'm going to be able to do a no yeah i'm definitely not going to be able to do a swatch you can't even see that but this is a beautiful color it's like the perfect it's not the my lips but better um lip shade this is darker than my natural color of my lips but i love this shade and i love this product i just i can't go ahead and buy any more lip products right now because i have so many of them and i don't use up too many on a regular basis because i just have so many so in my opinion i don't like to use the same one over and over and over again until it's used up because um just because I like to try out different lipsticks that I already own so I would consider repurchasing this in the future I have one more of these I bought two of the glass a ones and two of the aubergine ones because those were my two favorites from the line so I do have another little mini backup one but I would consider getting the full size one it's just that right now I have like hundreds okay maybe like 200 lip products and I just it would be a crime or a sin if I bought another one and then I have two lip liners that I finished one of them is the uh, Rimmel exaggerate full color lip liner in number 63 East and snob this has a cult following here on YouTube it's just a retractable one and it's completely gone let me see if I can do a swatch no See, I use up my products so much that I can't even swatch them for you guys. But this is a beautiful, like, blue-based or blue-toned lip liner. Blue-toned pink lip liner. It's just, it's really pretty. It's very easy to wear. It's a shade that you can wear every single day. You can put a gloss over it and it looks beautiful. So, um, I would consider repurchasing this again. I just, I have a ton of lip products, like I already mentioned. And then this one is the NYX retractable lip liner in the shade number mpl 15 fruit punch 
and this is retractable as well as you can tell it's all gone and nope I'm trying I really am you can't say I'm not putting the effort forward but this was a really pretty um pinky red and it just it was really pretty you guys knew that a couple weeks ago I was obsessed with like these bright orangey pinky red type of shades and I wore the heck out of this lip liner and that is the reason why it is all used up. I'm not going to go ahead and repurchase NYX retractable lip liners though because they are very, very drying on the lips. And you guys know that matte finish lip products are my favorite, but this one, this one is, is pretty drying and I'm not going to have dry lips just because of like this type of product. Usually if it's a product that I absolutely love, I will just suck it up if one of the downfalls is, you know, dryness or oiliness. But for a product that I, you know, that's neither here nor there for me, I'm not going to suffer through it. And then I have a lip gloss and this is a, this was a Bonnie Bell lip gloss that one of my coworkers Karen got for me. And I think I used it maybe once and I'm not a glass person and Bonnie Bell is not really my thing anymore so um, I thought it was extremely thoughtful but I'm never going to use it so I figured why just why hold on to it and then wait for it to expire and then show up in another empties video after I haven't used it for a couple more months and then last but not least is this Andrea brush on strip lash eyelash adhesive and it is a clear lash glue and it has a brush tip applicator and I picked this stuff up a little while ago because I was looking for a new lash glue and I knew I had tried this one in the past but I couldn't remember whether or not I liked it and then I tried it and I remembered heck no I never liked this stuff it burned the the hack out of my eyes and so it's like I'm never ever going to use this again it just it was terrible I'm sure it doesn't do that to everyone but I don't have sensitive skin around my eye area so like even with different eye creams I've never had any type of reaction but this stuff was ridiculous it literally felt like my eye lashes were burning and from now on I'm just going to stick with the Revlon and the duo glue those are my trieds and trues and why try to fix something if it's not broken so that is it I'm sure this video is extremely long but it's okay because I know a lot of you guys enjoy my chatty videos I haven't talked to you guys or seen you in over a month so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please like subscribe and share you know I'm not forcing you to but I really appreciate everyone who has and I want to mention a few other things number one um my nails they're the press on ones by kiss I really like these ones they're like a movie babyish pinkish with silver and like reflective iridescent glitter number two um i have another haul coming up in the next week or two that i have to sit down and film for you and number three i have another beauty swap with um tatum here on youtube so i'm thrilled to be doing another beauty swap because i love shopping for myself i love shopping for others i love shopping for my friends and i just i love doing swaps i think it's so much fun so i'm really excited for that and then I think that is it. Um, oh, and on a side note, Olivia is going in to get fixed tomorrow. So I'm probably going to be full of anxiety tonight. Um, I, I was thinking about maybe filming a video tomorrow, but I'm just not sure. I think I'm just going to hold off and see how she's doing. Um, I, everyone's reassuring me that it's like such a basic procedure and every like that knows what they're doing. But when it's your little fur baby, like how could you like be a hundred percent like relaxed about the situation I know I'm not and it's weird because I've gone over to the Middle East three times for the army and that stuff didn't scare me nearly as much as tomorrow's procedure for Olivia 
So, um, if you just want to send warm wishes my way and I can pass them along to her, that would really make her day and, pro and mine as well. And um, now I have to go spend some time with her and eat dinner and recycle all of these products. So, that is it for me. I hope you guys had a fantastic 4th of July if you celebrated it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!